Okay, hello and welcome. Today I am planning to show you that how you could change this Toyota Corolla's front pal joint. And this pal joint is just in behind of this front tire and this wheel and uh, we need to do some things and, and first we need to lift this car up and also at the same time we have we have to do some security things that this car don't collapse in in against your body and arms but okay let's be next we continue and we start to lift this car up and do those security things okay and then of course this security we need to install those security rocks behind of this rear field and tires both sides and there is this tire and, and this is first rock it goes in there and second the reason for these rocks is that sometimes these cars can move when we lift this car up and uh, these are like security things and then of course remember that you you should install also that kind of wooden lock and this is also security thing and this goes to below of this car and when I lift this car up then I insert this wooden lock just behind of this car and it's it's very important because sometimes cars collapse and it's it's not nice to be in below of this car when there is more than 1000 kilos in in our up Okay, and next step is to install this jack in the pillow of this car. But when you set up this jack, that there is a special uh, plate where this jack comes. And, and don't install this jack in some other place, like in here or 20 centimeters away. Because this is the right place. There is this short metallic plate where this jack goes and now I start lift and you saw the idea this uh, this jack must go in this plate must go in this jack's holes and then I continue this lifting okay now I lift this car up. And how lift and how high I need to lift. First thing is that uh, we need to lift so so high that, that this front tire is out of ground. And then secondly, we need to install this wooden lock below of this car. And this is the second point. And now I check that how how this lock goes in this this out and now this wooden lock is in a well placed and then I need to little bit lift down this jack that that this uh, this car carossi this metal area takes contact to this wooden lock and it's only security thing and now I little bit lift down this jack I take this tool and I rotate little bit this opening bolt what is in here and at the same time when you check this 
car it, it goes a little bit down and now you can see that this wooden clock it is ticked then and now we think that this system is secure and we we can check that in in a little bit moving this car and, and cool and then next step is that I need to take this uh, front tire out and and there is idea that first this cover out and then those nuts and bolts away and I take I go to take my tool okay and next next I I we need the socket both sides is 21 millimeter and then I use so long tool that it's it is so easy to open those bolts and I insert that in here and then those those bolts open easily this was the first bolt the second and third and fourth fourth bolt and then I put it loose and this bolts more and and we and this this tire is now so that it is in ground I need to lift a little bit this jack that I, that I can that I can take this tire out now I lift this little bit now tire is up and then I can go to take this bolts And now, now bolts are it's open and we can take all of those three others bolts away. Okay, and now all of those tires bolts are away and I can take this tire out. Okay, and next next step is that when it, when we are changing this front ball joint is that that we we need to take this uh, this uh, drive axle away, and it happens so that that we, we take these parts away and then we open this bolt. Okay and then firstly we need to take this pin out and for that we need uh, that kind of tool that we can move and change these pins this, uh, Places and 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 then we take in here and we pull and now pin is out and then this security 
system it goes out and then we have here bolt and this can can be ticked and uh, let's let's look that how we could open that and I go to take new tools okay and next step is that we need to have a 30 millimeter socket what we insert in here and normally this nut is very thick and we might need to do some extra things but let's try to open that and then I insert my my friends in here and then I try to open this bolt and uh, here is my current situation and let's let's look that that how this could could I, I open this bolt okay and now now it seems to be this normal situation that that this nut is so thick that we need to do two things. First thing is that we have to insert our cars, this uh, gear, gearbox gear to one, and this one generates more resist. And then the most important thing is that <coughs> that we need to insert also wooden lock in inside between this passenger, actually driver seat and uh, this brake pedal and let's go to do next those both things and we go now then inside in this car okay and first step was that we need to insert our cars gear to one or if you have automatic transmission then you insert that in drive position or parking parking position and this generates uh, friction and then we need to insert between that seat and then this pedal brake pedal something wooden lock and now I go to take suitable wooden lock and there is this measurement should be some quite something like um, about one meter or th three feet and and then you can use this seat adjusting mechanism that you can take them this bolt between this this pedal in here and then this uh, then I have here wooden lock but uh, this measure length is something like uh, uh, 70 70 centimeters and something like th two feet and three inches is this length and if you have a friend he can come in that uh, work step to press this braking pedal so hard then he could that, uh, that maximum force and then the idea is that when we press this braking pedal then those uh, our brake disc in uh, in front area they they take very hard contact and then we can open this nut and this uh, thick bolt uh, but now now I I set up this my wooden lock and this seems to be a little bit loose and I little bit move my seat in in front and then I tick again and now this is enough ticked this wooden lock and and I'm happy because there is this press in brake pedal and then we go to check that could I now open this big and thick nut okay and now these uh, brake pads are pressing uh, very very hard hard this uh, brake disc because we have insert this wooden lock in inside between brake pad and uh, brake pedal and seat 
and there is force and friction and also this gearbox number one generates friction and now I think that we could maybe open this nut okay and really now it's open okay and now now this not open opens and our our extra systems work, works nice and you can use that same idea if you need to open some disc or some other bolts that you can use those brake system force and this brake pedal hint okay now now this nut is open and this is more this is very important nut and then then when our ball joint is in just in behind of this disc next we need to take this this uh, brake caliper away because we need to set up this uh, socket and friends just in behind of this behind of this disc and that's we need to also deassemble this brake caliper and let's go let's go to do that next okay and next we are, are opening these bolts in here what keeps this brake caliper in this position here is first bolt and second is just in here lower area and and we need for that uh, socket what size is 12 millimeter and this this socket fits in here and and normally these bolts are also quite thick and you need also that long friends and let's go to install this in here and let's go to let's go to open and I try in that okay now it seems that this this base is so thick that that it's it's good to good to move this uh, disc position that I go to inside and we change this uh, disc position in this direction okay and next I go to do that okay and now I rotate this steering wheel and, and now this disc disc is better and of course then this tool fits better in here okay and now now it's easier to open this bolt because this um, this that, that, that I can open this this way and this was the first bolt and and here is the second and it opens also very easily and then then we take this this uh, bolts away I can rotate this using my hand hand and there is there is first one and then second is in here okay and there was the second and now now we can then take this uh, cali caliper out and now there is this press in inside and I can't take this out and, and that's I need to go in inside take this wooden lock away and then we can continue okay and next step is that when I 
I took this wooden lock away and we can take two hands in here and move that little bit and this uh, brake caliber goes. It moves out and we can install this caliber in just in here, this good position. Okay, and next, next what we need to do is that there is this our ball joint, what we need to open and there is also this bolt and nut what we need to open. Next step is to take this uh, drive shaft away and for that I need to again change this disc rotation in this same same direction as car is and I go to inside rotate this steering I, I rotate this steering wheel okay and now steering wheels okay and next step is to knop in some hammer this uh, drive shaft, shaft this uh, bolt and then this drive shaft goes away and now I I I have here a small hammer and let's look that what happened could I take this okay and then this is open very nicely and now this is o open and and for that that I that this drive shaft goes away we need to next take those lower power joint nuts open and let's do that next okay and then we go to look those ball joint lower nuts and we need to go in that direction and then we go behind of this uh, this uh, this car and here is this disc and, and when we go in that area we go in here and then when we look in here there is this ball joint and and there is those two here is this first second and then then there is this third bolt in here we need to open next this one this one and then that one bolt there are two nuts this one and one bolt and then we can go to we can go to open this 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 bolt in here what is just in there this is the our target and that's we need to take this drive drive shaft away okay and let's let's go to do that open these uh, these three bolts in here that one that one and then that one and then when we have opened those we can take this drive shaft away and there is this uh, final loot what we need to open and and now when there is no space between that drive shaft and the nut we... okay and then when we open these nuts and bolts in here we need socket what size is 17 millimeter and it fits in here and then then I to take this uh, my longer frames and, and I insert their first loop in, in there and this opens nicely and and then I open the second and it, it opens also nicely and then there is this third one and it opens also nicely. And then, then I take this all bolts away. And again there, there goes this first one. 
and there is that kind of bolt and then then I take also these two nuts away and then we continue okay and then I continue this opening I take that nut away and in, in here we have now only one nut and then I take this this last nut away and okay and now now we okay and next step is that we we take this whole system away from this uh, support arm in here and we need to lift this up and this is sometimes quite uh, uh, heavy and uh, sometimes quite difficult part and that's I recommend that you take first good protective uh, uh, clothes in, in your fingers this is leather, full leather because sometimes there can happen some some small small things in our fingers and, and there is idea that you start to lift that we, we we must to separate that part and then that part in here. And now I start to lift this system. And it seems that this is this is very very ticked and and I think that we need to we need to then then use some tool what we insert in that between between these parts and and then I by the way check that okay and, and then I go to take new tool okay and next we rotate this uh, steering wheel again that we can adjust this, this. And next, next we need that kind of tools. What we insert between of this, that ball joint and then this control, this arm. And we set up this in here. And, and I, I go to this different location. There's is sometimes okay now now this first bolt goes away and then need, I need to do same in these others I, and, and, and it's good to change these tools place and and finally finally it's Really, it opens. It seems that again a little bit more, and now, now I hope that this might open. If not, and then when we have that kind of situation, we need a little bit more. And I, I have here longer tool. What idea is that, that I need to separate those two parts, and, and I this is, this is sometimes. Sometimes take a little bit of time, time that we can take those, separate those things. And then I I try to move that 
control arm a little bit down, down in. Okay, and now control arm goes down, and be carefully that you don't hit this drive shaft. That this is uh, stark and powerful part, but this is not. And be carefully that my I. Now I, I, I bend this control arm down, and then this, this little tool in here. And then, then you press this control arm down. There is this picture, and when you press that down, then this, this. Uh, Ball joint finally moves out, and you use that in there. You can press down this control arm, and, and then this ball joint finally goes out. Okay, and then. Okay, and now this uh, ball joint lower nuts and bolts are open, and then we can move that caliper brake disc so long that this uh, drive shaft axle goes out in this way. And then, then there is this final bolt, what we need to open. And uh, and there is this bolt, and for this opening, we need to set up this our. Okay, and then when we are planning to open that nut in here, this one, we need to set up one of these bolts in in these holes in here. That we we can open this bolt and now I am I am setting that bolt in back in there. Set up this bolt in there. And there, there is this bolt. But I need to. But I need to dig then in a little bit time. Now this this bolt keeps this this ball joint in, in that position, and and then then I can I can start to open that bolt in here. Okay, and then we are planning to open this this nut, ball joint nut, and for that we need uh, 20, 22 millimeter socket, and it goes in here. 
her and and then and I set my tool in there. I use that nut so that this support this opening. This is the idea why there is one one bolt dicten in here. Because that I can open this nut. Now, now it opens. So there is this situation that that now all bolts are away and I, I can release also that nut and quite soon this our bolt joint system it is it is it is in there and I need finally <laughs> couple of hammering that I can take this this part out part out out with the hammering joint it can be sometimes very thick and when when you are taking this away you might need that kind of tool what you hit and strike in just in this between of this pulse joint and then this uh, control arm and this is like pulse joint release tool and it it idea it that we we insert that in here and then we hammer this and, and then this pulse joint opens. And, and there is just this, uh, how this, uh, how you set up this tool. Okay, now, now this pulse joint is one finally away. Okay, good. And and then when we have this new ball joint, we can start to install this ball joint in the same way back. And and the first first step is that that we take this new ball joint. 
and and we we install this ball joint back in, in in here and we take then that bolt and then we install this drive axle back in here and that when you install back in this bolt there is special moment in these uh, bolts and you need moment tool and for example that nut what comes in in here this this moment is uh, 120 newton meter and these bolts what are in in here in here lower this there is also 120 newton meter this moment and you need to thicken these bolts very okay and now now I am thickening this ball joint bolts in moment tool this moment tool key and th when this moment tool says click there is enough this force in these bolts and this is important part when you change this uh, ball joint parts that there is there is this just this moment amount 120 and then I continue the thickening and I I wait that when this system says click and this thickening takes time Yeah, now, now this click is ready and, and I, I have enough force. Good. Okay, and take then also these bolts using moment tool in, in here. This, this lower and here is this amount 120 or 140 newton meters okay and now now these bolts are ready and and, and this is ball joint change has been almost ready and then we need to of course take then this drive shaft bolt and and then this is okay and then this central bolt thickening you need to have moment tool where is this moment and uh, you need at least 200 newton meter this momentum in this central bolt and when you set up in here and when you thicken and, and when you hear the snacks there is 200 newton. Okay, and then pin in there. Thank you.